welcome back to the channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is a meal prep video. I have not done a meal prep video in literally months. I think it was February was the last time I did it and I tried to do it in the RV and I ended up in my mom's kitchen for the rest of it. So, but being that I am starting work Monday, probably the day you're seeing this, it's going to be my first day of work. I have a new job that I'm starting that is remote. It is gonna be inside, 100% remote, which is nice, but I do want to be prepared and have lunches ready to go so I don't have to make anything and worry about getting back to the computer on time, you know, all that kind of stuff, especially when you're in training and stuff. You're making that good impression, right? So I wanted to get some things prepped and ready to go. A lot of things are gonna be done on the outside today on the griddle. Andy's gonna be giving me a hand with that. Um, but since I haven't done this in a while and we have quite a few new subscribers, I thought I would give you some of my tips for meal prep. Meal prep is probably one of my videos I'm known for. Besides my grocery hauls, meal prep has always been one that people love to see and they do the best. So this is kind of a keto and carnivore one, you'll see. Um, but I recommend making a list. I always make a list of everything that I want to accomplish. And meal prep doesn't have to be prepping an entire meal. It's really more about prepping the ingredients to make a meal, getting your hamburger meat ready maybe, um, uh, making up some chicken ahead of time, grilling up uh, pork belly, I don't know. It could be anything like that. Cutting your fruits and your veggies and having them clean and ready to go for salads or tacos or something like that so it doesn't necessarily have to be slaving away in the kitchen for hours at a time it could be just an hour of just prepping your food after you get out of the grocery store so make a list and it is okay if you don't get everything done on that list there's a lot of times that I don't but I will prioritize if things are you know a busy day and I need to get other things done I will make sure I get the things that I need done the most first so make a list and then when you're done with something, scratch it off. I am a paper and pen girl that's something else that a lot of the OGs know, to, know about me is it just feels so satisfying to mark it off the list. I've done it, you feel accomplished. Um, next is clean as you go. That was probably a really big one when I was in a full size kitchen. Now I am in an RV so I have no choice but to clean as I go because I don't have the room or the space. Um, but that is very important. Clean as you go. When you're done with one thing, maybe sticking something in the oven or the air fryer, go ahead and clean up your dishes and get them in the dishwasher or whatever it is and wipe down the counters, make sure you disinfect and all that and get started on the next thing. Um, I also recommend number three, get a garbage bowl. Um, mine is the sink right now because I can't put a lot of food and stuff down our sink because it goes into our tanks underneath and we have to empty those out. So I just throw things in my sink because it's right here next to me and I'll empty it into my garbage later. So that's another thought. Having something very handy to just toss your garbage in as you go or just bring your garbage right next to you if that is helpful too. And I feel like they're, I'm missing a, a, I haven't done this in so long. I feel like I'm missing a, a, a point. But last but not least, I always say too, is have fun while you're doing it. Play your music. Play uh, Netflix on TV, uh, Netflix on TV, uh, music, watch some YouTubes. I always say, go back, if you're new, go back and watch some of my old videos just to kind of, you know, help me out a little and also give you some inspiration. Speaking of watching something, our new favorite thing is Bridgerton. Sound off down below if you've seen it. I did a little quiz on uh, Netflix about it recently and most of you had not seen it, which I thought Andy and I were the minority. I thought it was, uh, what's that other show? I thought it was related to Downton Abbey. And Andy and I tried to watch that once and absolutely not. If you love that, I'm sorry, but we could not get into it at all. So that's why I didn't try Bridgerton. I didn't know anything about it. And then I found out that it was uh, made by Shonda Rhimes, who does Grey's Anatomy, who I love Grey's Anatomy, the first like 10 seasons anyways. And then, um, so I was like, let's give it a try. We are hooked. We're all caught up. We watched Queen Charlotte, which by the way, I think was better than Bridgerton. I'm just, ah. Uh. 
if you haven't seen it, give it a couple of episodes too. Like at first we were watching it and I was like, what in the world is going on here? Because <laughs> of the time piece, I think it is. But then once we were in, we were, we were hooked. And I can't believe Andy loved it too. But anyways, there I go again, yakking away. So those are my tips for meal prep. Um, next, my list. So I'm gonna make a bunch of bacon. We have like three pounds of bacon. And if I'm nervous or anxious while I'm learning this new job, I will have bacon to just snack on if needed. And it's a zero carb snack. It's carnivore, keto, anybody will love it except vegetarians or vegans. I'm gonna make some butter mayo because I'm about out of that. I'm gonna make one of my favorite snacks, cold and refreshing, especially in this hot weather, is my mini sweet peppers with goat cheese. And then you top it with whatever seasoning that you like. It's so delicious, I love it. And then we're gonna make a couple of creamies um, just to have them ready in the freezer. Um, I need to get some more of these, but then when I think about it, I'm like, my freezer is not that big. I can barely fit them in here anyways, but we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make a couple, we're gonna make some of the melts that I make. I've got the Cuban sandwich melt that I make for Andy. We have some of that pork left over, so we're gonna make a bunch of those, have them ready to go. And I thought, let's make it on the griddle so it'll be quicker and I just think it'd be a great idea. And then last but not least, I'm very excited. I'm going to make a Reuben sandwich melt. So you guys know I love the Reuben sandwich casserole that I make. It is to die for. And we're going to do that in the way of me putting the cheese down, putting the egg life wrap on to just give it some flavor and then putting all the flavors of a Reuben sandwich inside of it, fold it over. It's crusty. And I thought that would be really delicious cold too. And if it's not, then I'll warm it up, you know? So I'm pretty excited about that. So enough talking, six minutes of talking. My gosh, I'm so sorry. Let's get into the meal prep. Okay, for the next part of the meal prep, we're gonna meal prep a bunch of my like melts that I've been making with the egg life wraps and putting the cheese on the outside. So I'm going to utilize the uh, Blackstone griddle outside. Andy's finishing up the bacon and I thought I would pre-make these because that sounds good cold too. You know, like making it and then sticking them in the refrigerator and I'll just have them for my lunches this week. So we have a little bit of the pulled pork left. So we're going to kind of make some for Andy that are kind of like the Cuban ones, but not quite because um, I'm gonna use some cheddar cheese instead of Swiss in his because I'm being selfish. I already covered it with him, he's okay, but I wanna use the Swiss for mine. I'm gonna make a Reuben melt. I can't wait. So uh, we're just gonna put some deli meat in his, mustard, the pork, cheese, and a little bit of this pickle juice. I might just get rid of these too. I'm ready to um, get rid of that. Make more room in the fridge. And then for me, I'm gonna do Swiss and the um, gosh, I'm drawing a complete blank. Um, corned beef, Swiss, and then we're going to do it in the wrap with the cheese like I do, and we'll make a Thousand Island sauce to kind of drip on top when I'm ready to eat it. I don't want to put it inside of it yet. One, I haven't made it yet. Oh, and we're going to do some sauerkraut, of course. So I'm very excited about this. This next part I will film and then I'll do a voiceover for it because uh, I'm going to be outside and it's hot and um, just got to make sure, you know, that I get it done right. But I'm really excited about this. So yeah, let's make some melts. Okay, I'm not going to show you all the meal prep yet because I'm not done with it, but I have to at least, since that was sped up, I have to at least show you this corned beef melt. So I put the Swiss, see how it's all melted, the corned beef and the sauerkraut in there and oh, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dig into that for lunch. 
for work. I might have one today, who knows? But I'm gonna individually, or I'm gonna wrap, put these in some Ziploc bags and put them in the fridge so I have easy access. And then these are the ones I made Andy also. And I think these will be delicious cold too. So I just wanted to share that with you because it is a Reuben sandwich. And I'm so excited because it's my favorite. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to make the mini sweet peppers with the goat cheese. If you're not a fan of goat cheese, you can put cream cheese in it too. I've seen people do that, but I just really love the tartness and the flavor of the goat cheese. It's just different. Um, you just wanna clean these up. We're gonna cut them in half, seed them, and then we're just gonna stuff the goat cheese in it. And I'm just gonna put them in a little container, have them ready to go. I love putting the real salt chili lime on top. There is a little bit of sweetness to this, and it's just, oh, mwah, chef's kiss. And then also everything bagel seasoning. This is the jalapeno flavor that I got from Aldi once. Um, I had a tiny bit of the plain left and I just combined them the other day just to make some more space. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's speed it up and make these. Okay, so here it is. It filled all but just a few of them. I wish every single one was this big. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. Um, so I have one layer down here and I'll probably, you know, put some on those and then we'll go ahead and sprinkle seasoning on the top, the, the other one, you know? So then that way I've kind of got two layers of it. Um, we'll start with this jalapeno one, bagel seasoning, it's so good. And you kind of want to overdo it because it'll fall off when you pick it up. But you can press it down into it also, but since I'm just doing it here. So that's what those are going to look like. And now we're going to put these in here. And we're just going to make them fit. Oh, it's a perfect fit. Well, it should be. I'm pretty excited though. Usually I don't get that much use out of it. So I'll probably just munch on these with some ranch or something. So again, I'm gonna use the chili lime on here. Uh, I do have a discount code for this down below if you're interested, it is one of my favorites, but someone did mention they tried it the other day and they didn't care for the sweetness of it. So it, it, it is, and I that's actually the thing that kind of surprised me the most about it, I love it. Um, but I do recommend mixing it with your taco seasoning and it's, it's just delicious, it is. But you know, everyone's different, it's okay. So here we go, I have got Two little layers of these ready to go. Now let's make uh, probably the creamies. All right, everyone. So we're gonna mix up a couple of keto chow creamies. Um, we're gonna definitely do the fruity cereal for Andy. This is his favorite. I've got to order some more of these. I think I have one left. And then I'm gonna go for strawberry cream. I love strawberry and I love the strawberry cream flavor. So. Um, I'll put down below, I'm making it like my friend Nancy made hers because uh, we wanted them to taste that delicious. Um, you just put a half a stick of butter for each one, melt it, then we're gonna put the packet inside of that. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of this allulose mix. I got it on clearance and this, it did say allulose up here, but when you rip it, it, oh there it is, allulose blend. Um, she said somehow it makes it better and it is and then we're gonna put an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum and I don't know what the magic is but that's the way that she makes it and it's delicious and then we're gonna fill up the water to the max line I'm going to blend it in my ninja this is just a little personal blender that I got and I love this It's good for protein shakes for this I love it so we're gonna do that for both of these and then pour them in our little pints stick them in the freezer. So let's get started. There's 
Ridge Ralphie. He's just constantly looking at his mommy, but he also wants me to drop something. So the other thing that I had to make and I couldn't forget was I need a little bit of the Thousand Island dressing for my Reuben sandwich melt that I made. And I could have put it inside of the uh, melt, but I hadn't made this yet. And then I thought, you know what? It's pretty wide mouth like we can just pour a little bit of this over it as I'm making it or I can just dip it because who doesn't love to dip right dip stuff so um, I know I don't have these measurements down pat I just kind of throw them together but you need a little bit of mayonnaise um, this is butter mayo that's why I need to make more <laughs> because it's almost gone a little bit of ketchup um, you want some relish but I'm just gonna chop up I always chop up my own pickles for it you want a little bit of sweetener just to kind of cut into the tartness of this because we're gonna put a little, it says uh, the recipe I usually use white vinegar, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna use what I have. It's not gonna matter, I don't think, but we'll speed this up. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna make is butter mayo. Um, I'm gonna use this with my new KitchenAid hand mixer that I got. I've been talking about it. Look, I, I think this was definitely a wise investment for me because I've used it three times in less than a week. Um, but I'm going to mix it up in here. This is not my recipe. I got this from my friend, Sarah Joy. So um, I'll link her website down below. It's on her website. Um, so these are all the things that you need. I just have to let the butter get room temperature first because I didn't quite have enough already you know defrosted or whatever um but i'll speed this up also if you want to know all the details about it definitely check out her website and her channel um but this is the last thing that i gotta do and then i can recap everything that i have made today All right, everyone, so I am done with my first, this is my first official meal prep in the RV without having to go into my mom's kitchen and use her stuff, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty proud of it. I think we got a lot accomplished today. I did get everything on my list done, but that was because I was very like prepped for this in advance. But anyway, so we have about three pounds of bacon here. We can snack on it, we can add it to things, we can, have some scrambled eggs in the morning or something and throw in some bacon so I'm very excited about that it's such a good thing to have on hand I've got my sweet mini peppers stuffed with goat cheese and then topped with uh, chili lime seasoning the Redmond one and then underneath I'm the only one that eats these so it's okay if I touch them is the everything bagel jalapeno flavor that I got from Aldi a long time ago I did make some Thousand Island dressing to go with my Reuben sandwich melt I'll show you that in a minute I made Andy four melts. These are just, uh, I think they're kind of mixed in right now. He's got uh, like four Cuban sandwich melts. And then I have the Reuben sandwich one, which, oh, that's under there. Oh my gosh. I just cannot wait to dig into this. It just looks so delicious. And then pouring some of that dressing in there. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned. I'll probably film what I eat on my first day of work. And I'll let you know what I think of these. Um, I did make two creamies also, a strawberry cream and a fruity cereal. Those are going to go back in the freezer. And then I have some butter mayo that I made up as well. So please hit that like button if you liked this meal prep video. And what do you want to see in the next one? I'd like to know. We've got some exciting things that we're coming up with for you guys. So stay tuned. I can't wait. And if you like seeing meal prep videos like this, let me know down below. It'll motivate me to keep doing them because sometimes it's a little hard in this small space, but I think I'm finally getting my groove. I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.